welcome to the show. I'm your host, Amy Kardashian, not Kardashian. I have a great show today. I want to share with you an amazing woman that she does a lot of things and she is going to inspire you. Andrea Adams Miller. She is international um, speaker, author, publicist, and she does many, many things. So we want to know and learn about her more and how she got to where she is today. So I'm so excited to share her with you. It's going to be a great show that's going to inspire you, empower you to take action towards a better life. Well, welcome, welcome to the show. Well, thank you so much, Amy. I've always adored you. We've been good friends now, and I'm yes. so happy to be here. Well, thank it's you. nice to have you because I, the reason I wanted to have you is I love your smile. Thank you. I love your spirit. I love how you keep going and growing, and <laughs> you don't stop. It's just a beautiful, you lift somebody's spirit up. So thank you. I want to, I, of course, you're welcome, and it's nice to have you. I want to learn more, deeper about Andrea that I know. I want to know where you came from, how you started, and what is your story before we give them some sure, more information. Sure, I'd be happy to share. Thank you. So um, I, I was an only child, and I often say I was an only child and a lonely child. So uh, we lived in a neighborhood where there wasn't a lot of kids to play with, and so I get a little weepy-eyed about this a little bit. But um, because of that loneliness where I only had books to read or TV to watch, that was my model of the world on how people people interacted and engaged. And so um, I quickly learned that if I became engaged in like Girl Scouts and other groups in school, that I would have um, in acts of service, you have friends. Nice. And so uh, that really propelled me to um, push me into a world where I immediately volunteered and would take leadership roles because that allowed me to showcase my talents. And I had a, a lot of knowledge because I read books all the time. My mom would take me to the library and we'd take stacks and stacks of books. And, you know, I'd get home and I'd lay on my belly and I'd crack open that book and I'd read it. And each story, I mean, I would read them from, ch you know, front to cover, boom, put it down and grab the next book. And they would, all these stories would merge into each other and books were my friends and so that love of knowledge and information just carried with me throughout school and throughout my acts of service and that's what really led me to do all the things that I do now it's about people and relationships and allows me to be with a lot of people to have good relationships with them and engage with them nice so, so you kind of created your own uh, family Right. Kind of ex extended family. Whatever <laughs> exactly. You, you created your own family. So you turned the obstacles into a positive thing. Yes, right? very much so. And then you get connected with the books and knowledge. And you now you share yeah. the knowledge that you have. And you enjoy doing it. Because I see you everywhere. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, she doesn't get tired? I mean, you are literally everywhere. Literally everywhere. Well, you know I, a lot of people. Yeah. How you keep them in mind, I don't know. <laughs> I do get around. Uh, yeah. we, uh, we've we been traveling. And I say we because I uh, usually either take my uh, um, photographer friend with me. He's a client as well, Ken Rashan from the Umbrella Syndicate and BigEventsUSA.com. So a lot of times he accompanies me at different events and then other people that I work with and my other clients I'm traveling with them so that's where the we model is instead of just me now nice and um and and, and i'm not lonely i mean i'm filled with rooms of hundreds of people and i'm with them all the time and i actually have real relationships with them so you're talking about the smiling pictures yes the keep smiling, the keep movement. smiling that's movement. Uh, so you're, something i am very motivated and i love doing um we're actually doing the book here in las vegas which i'm sure you and ken have already yeah. talked about if you haven't already had the opportunity oh yeah to yeah talk I, about. I have interviewed him too so yeah. you're gonna see the interview fabulous amazing. well amazing. I, I know i set that up because yeah. he's my client <laughs> yeah 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 right <laughs> and yeah so the keep smiling movement is wonderful and we've really uh, merged that i've been um behind him and helping him support that because it's really the who's who uh in the world nowadays of who's the influencers, the movers, the shakers, the authors, the speakers, and I really want to do other things with it worldwide. So we've already had the opportunity to go to Dubai and Oman and Egypt and Bangkok um, and a whole bunch of uh, different uh, Caribbean countries and take pictures of people with these cards. So I'm really wow. looking forward to doing a, a worldwide tour with him. Um, so that's a really good example of, of, of one of my clients who I'm behind what they do, and we do that movement all over the world. So That is amazing. Amazing. So inspiring because he have a great uh, uh, concept. Yes. You know, it's like 
contagious it kind is, of thing. Well, smiling you're is helping, contagious. You're you can't help marketing it. That, like if yeah. I try not to smile. It just like doesn't look right. Yeah, right? you got to just do yeah. it. And but it seems like both of you, you have a special light, special energy that you could tell that he, it, he was amazing on the show as much as you are. And uh, that's we attract the right people, right, in your yeah. life? Yeah. So you yeah. attract we, we, we work well together. Um, uh, with, nice. He, he's um, not only a client, but he's become one of my best friends. He's absolutely amazing, and, I, and his work is fantastic. So I'm, I'm hoping to do some gallery shows for him in the future here um, because people need to see his work. It's beautiful. Nice, nice. So I, tell me a little bit how when you meet someone uh, and you're a publicist, what do you look for? that you could take that? Do you look something hidden that you could bring it out to light? Yeah, that's really what or I do. Or they have to be ready to go for you to deal with them? No, I actually prefer uh, prefer it when they, I almost kind of like it more when they don't know what they have or they haven't prepared anything okay. because I call it digging for gold. So we have this opportunity to get together and start looking and seeing what is it that they have that they didn't even realize was something that the world would want to know about. What What is their hidden story? Like you asking me my mm. story. I suppose I should have also shared, and well, I will now then. Um, so no, no, when we come back. You want me to when we come yeah, back? Yeah, when we oh, come back. You we hold come back. that. <laughs> you hold that. When we come back, we are going to learn more about Andrea, how she really got to where she is today, and what she's looking, when she look at someone, what she's looking for to bring the best of them out. So we'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you for calling Dinner Revival. Hate to say goodbye to your favorite jeans? Well, now you don't have to, because Denim Revival is here for you. Mail us your jeans and our professionals will fix it right up. We offer you all kinds of alteration services, including invisible repairs, let outs, taperings, and original hemming, or even have your own custom-made jeans. Quoted the best denim repair shop by GQ, Vogue Magazine, and LA Times. Denim Revival, your search for alteration and repair ends here. We are back with Andrea and having lots of fun here. And you always, by the way, you always wear red. That's correct. So, um, all right. So one of the things about me is I've, I've always been heavier. And I was often told that I was too heavy to be on stage and I was an international speaker and still am. And so I always wore black with red shoes. And one day I bought a red dress for a television premiere and people went nuts over it. And um, this, by the way, is when my business, because I would say there was something about me that I hadn't told you yet. Oh my gosh, it's scandalous. Though. <laughs> talk about it. it involves the police and sex. Wow, okay, right, where so, are we going here? So now that you're all listening, okay, remember K Kodashian, not, not Kardashian. Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> Although the story sounds like it's yeah. going that way, but it's not. Um, so I went into law enforcement because I wanted to be of service. So I worked first in corrections as a corrections officer and then worked at the Finley Police Department. Wow. And um, and I love that, the idea of being a community and of service. And what I noticed was a, a overriding problem in the world is communication between people and the relationships that they had, that they would fight and bicker and, you know, to hear people, you know, threatening to kill each other and violence or hear um, a gentleman who was in jail or a woman who's in jail talking to their loved one on the phone and saying horrible, hateful things to them. And I'm like, so I would suggest things to them, like, you know, if maybe you didn't call her the B word, she might be more inclined to show up on Sunday and visit you on Visitor's Day. Mm -hmm. And maybe she won't cheat on you if you were kinder to her. And, and I noticed the change in the men and their demeanor and their behaviors. And then when I worked at the police department, I worked with 73 men. And so I had this great opportunity to have, you know, conversations that were very real with them. And um, now this was prior sexual harassment days. So um, the, 
we talked trash all the time to each other, and, and I loved it. It was so fun. So 70 policemen, and you're the only woman. And I'm the only okay. woman. Okay. Yeah. And um, we all joked, and not all, I mean, but we joked and were silly and would, you know, have that kind of British humor, the innuendos and all of that. And we just had a great time laughing. And one of the things that I learned is that the men there trusted me and would ask me questions about their personal lives and sometimes about their intimate lives. And so I left law enforcement to study uh, relationships, uh, was going to be like a family and you know, marriage and family therapist and found that um, I had a, a teacher who uh, invited me to go to a sex conference with her, a sexuality conference. I went and absolutely loved it. Um, I've always, people always crack up about this. I walk into this conference and I'm with a nun, a priest, um, a porn star and a porn director and me. And wow. now we've been at a bar. <laughs> it sounds like maybe a really primed up for a joke. And these people were so wonderful the way they talked together and how they merged their conversations. And well, it was for education. Right. So they're very all respectful. there to edu yeah. educate themselves. Totally, about. totally respectful. Yeah. And I loved it. And I and it hit off. So I actually started a relationship business uh, around that time. I originally called the Sexuality Tutor. I focused specifically on sexuality disorders and dysfunction. And then I ended up having, because I was in from a law enforcement field, I had CEOs and judges and really high up people who trusted me with their confidential information. And they started saying, wow, Andrea, I love how you really bring things together and your point of view about things. Would you be willing to speak to my staff or would you come and talk to like my trustee board of trustees? So I started doing corporate talks and at the time, the sexuality tutor, that's how I would invoice them and bill them. And they finally came to me. The one gentleman said, you know, procurement is having a trouble with writing a check to sexuality tutor. Can we do something about that? So I started doing business as ignite your relationships. Why we why we are so afraid <laughs> of sexuality if it's done the right way, husband and wife. Right. And I mean, what's wrong with that? Why why are we well, too much hold back on that? You know, it's a lot of things, and I don't just talk about those relationships. I actually had a radio show for 13 years called Sex Talk Live internationally. We had listeners all over the world. It was hosted at Bowling Green State University, and it was something I did just as something that I enjoyed and loved being on radio. I mean, I'm not saying we need to talk about it uh, uh, for no reason. Right. I'm saying for educational why. Yeah, we did we it don't for have, education and you entertainment. Know, we, we don't want to go see anybody about sexual to learn or how we're going to teach our children or grandkids or friends about how to be protected and how to, to do it the healthy way. Right. You know? So Well, because of that, I was very fortunate. I uh, spoke at conferences all the time with some of the top sexual health people in the world and um, did wonderful things. I got to interview David Satcher, who was Surgeon General at the time and was on the same stages as the uh, women who were on Oprah and so forth. Actually, I was supposed to be on Oprah three times and some crazy thing happened each time that I, I never ended up being on it, but it's a great cocktail story, I'll tell you someday. Yeah. Uh, you guys all, uh, your listeners will have to wait in for that, you know, at some point. You're coming back on oh, the show, I'll you have know to. that. <laughs> yeah, and so with the sexuality business, um, yeah, I because I'm silly and funny and I, I'm not embarrassed about things, I was able to talk about things in such a way that people felt comfortable with me and mm -hmm. it went really, really well. And um, because you're talking about educational way, well, right? So, and know, I want people to form their own way. opinions. Yeah. And so some of the things are, are are might be a little shocking to people, but I was never a shock jock or anything like that. We just gave them information, and then I would tell them, like I would let them know in politics what was happening, mm -hmm. and say, if you don't like this, this is how you vote. I I never cared which way anybody took as their political or religious stance. Um, in fact, my clients um, who were of different faiths, I would go and speak to them. I went and had it took a meeting with a, a mom so that I could help a couple that was trying to figure out how could they still be intimate and not get pregnant and follow the laws so that they it's, had. So it's, it's educational. Yeah, very much yeah. so, yeah. And of course, but I'm, because the word is in it, we're like, oh, the word sex is in there. Oh my gosh! Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh Andrea's talking about sex again. Yeah. Uh, but it, it it's a it's a beautiful concept and a beautiful thing, and it can be um you know, and it can be funny, and it can be beautiful, and you know, and and it doesn't have to be wackadoodle crazy or silly or I don't know. I I, I but you make it comfortable. Yeah. I mean, you make it. Because you're easy with it. Yeah. I mean, you come from law enforcement. You're not teaching 
sexually the wrong way. You're trying to educate and teach them what, what yeah, they need to and, do. Yeah, and, and I'm just having open conversations yeah. with people so they can form their own opinions. I want yeah. them to form their own opinions. I, I want them to be, I want them to choose what they do in their life because they have knowledge, not because they have lack of knowledge. Yes. And so it's because of all of that that I even led to the business of being the lady in red because we started this conversation about being all right. in black with red and shoes. And you look great in red. Well, you know you. that. So I ended up becoming the red carpet connection and that's because of oh, all the sexuality. Okay, 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 okay. Here you go. We're going to talk about red carpet. I have seen you with celebrities and <laughs> photos and red carpet, Hollywood, and it, it, what you're not done, I don't know. But uh, uh, when we come back, we're going to share more interesting stories about this beautiful lady here. We'll be right back. Thank you. Welcome back with Andrea. Andrea, we're having great conversation. Now we're getting into <laughs> red carpet, Hollywood, all kind of things. So tell us a little bit how you get to all this. Well, uh, so the red carpet connection I was telling you came from being in the sexuality um, business because I was did so well on getting a radio and television myself you know and some of this i started before i was on 2020 before like a i just had an aol account you know this is so it wasn't That's like the time. Time people ago. were like oh it's so hard to get on tv well i didn't know it was hard i didn't have anybody to tell me it was hard so i went to just the library <laughs> got research and did it and called and pitched stories to them and got mm -hmm. on i didn't even know i don't even know how i knew to do that i just did it and so when i started um going to different conferences because i wanted to learn more about marketing so I could ramp up the relationship business more because I, I felt like there was a bigger and better things I needed to do because what I was learning is these couples that I worked with or individuals, they had a story and they had a voice that they needed to share with the world, whether it was something that they loved to do or um, something had happened to them, I wanted them to have that. So when I was at these conferences and had that red dress on, uh, everybody started asking me to help them with publicity. They're like, mm. help me do what you did for yourself. And I found it very rewarding. As I said, I love serving other people. I love helping them and supporting them. And it allowed me to align with other people. So I wasn't alone, <laughs> you know? So uh, the red carpet uh, connection was born. A friend of mine called me that. And the reason I wear red every day is I literally live now my brand. This is your signature. This is your brand. This is it. I wear red every single day all the time. Um, do you ever get sick of it? No, I don't. No? I don't. It's actually really weird. I actually did some work for some people who uh, were uncomfortable with me being in red. They they said, you're you're too visible, you're too seen, you're too loud, you, you know, you're singing, you're funny, you're drawing so much attention to yourself with all this red too. Uh, and they wanted me to take all those characteristics away and wear black. And so for one event, I did do that. And it was funny because I told somebody, oh, if you need something, just find me. I'm the lady in red. And then, then it black. wasn't there. Because I was in black and I was like, oh. And then I realized I couldn't do it. Shut your spirit yeah. down. Yeah, and it's so then I, and I told the people, I, what you want is not me. That is not me. I want to work with people who want Andrea because she's she's fun and she's loud, loud and she's and engaging everything. and she's yeah. loving yeah. and she's energetic and she sings and she laughs. That's who I am. And I want people to be who they are. Do you sing too? I do sing. My goodness. Okay. Okay. Honeysuckle Rose. Oh, nice. <laughs> we'll just sing that a little bit. That way I don't okay. take your time. Well, no, no, go for it. Oh, I love singing. I'll, I, yeah. I, I take um, uh, anybody, anybody in the yes, audience. Right. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love to sing. I've done a lot of community theater. Nice. Um, that's part of the reason I was always been... Um, do well with international speaking with the presence of being on stage and on radio and television is because I did theater. Um, I've been in uh, 58 productions now, both either straight shows or musicals. Absolutely love it. And I sing whenever I get the chance. Don't you love your life? I could tell. I do. And I you do just love my jump life. into things, right? You just do it. Yes. Um, so, uh, but that's part of the red. So red is relevance, mm -hmm. enthusiasm, and delivery. And power. If you live with all three yeah. every day, that hit, that is your target market. And so that's how I am. I live red. I've actually uh, wrote a song about it and everything. So it's about living red. And like, are you going to be who you are and live that way? Yeah. yeah. Just be comfortable. But I think that's what be beautiful about you, being comfortable for who you are, what you are. And you just don't need anyone to change you. Well, thank you. And that that's was part a... of it with the weight as well, too. And I get um, comments from men and women all the time who are very pleased to know that I'm comfortable in my weight. Yeah, 
do I, would I like to be thinner? Yeah, but not enough to do enough about it. So okay. therefore I need to love the body that I'm in because this is the body that I have. And so I need to love it today. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to wait to love it till it's the different weight. And what's really funny is I was called fat when I weighed 137 and was an aerobics instructor and wore a, you know, a, a unitard with a, a thong over it. And I'm called the same word sometimes by people, 100 and 40 pounds later, you know, or whatever, however, I don't even know how much I weigh. Um, it's the same You're word. You're not going to be perfect for yeah. anybody so else. The word yes, fat, it has to be the perfect word fat for you. Is so, yeah. yeah. Everybody's going to look at it in different, yeah. uh, what fat to them or whatever it is. It's whatever you're comfortable yeah. with. Yeah. And, and so it's just, a, it's a new way of people accepting themselves that, yes, I would like to be thinner. And I am doing some things to change that, but it's not the main focus for, of my somebody life. somebody else. You're not yeah. doing it for somebody else. No. You're doing it for oh, yourself. Oh, no, it has to be for me. Because I've even had Absolutely. people suggest, like, doing surgery. And I said, are you kidding? That I would just eat again. You know, it was yeah. like, you know there's different reasons people love eat to for eat, different yeah. reasons. And so, and a part of it is, is loving yourself. And the more I love, and the more I've learned to love myself as an adult, the more I stand out more and less people notice my weight and the more the weight comes off so well because you don't even think about it you're just you when you walk in it just there is no thinking about anything else but seeing your lighting up with your Thank eyes you. with your knowledge with your connection i mean you are always connecting people with other people and have that special gift you have that special gift well there you know it's funny i used to wonder why people uh don't do certain things like my head is flipping all the time with a little Rolodex um, and like who can I connect to who and how can I get them on here and oh they should be doing business with that person and oh have you guys thought about working on a project together I'm constantly thinking that way so when I meet people and they don't do that back I'm like you know, you and doing? then I realize it's actually some people it's innate and other people it needs to be a learned skill that we could teach them Absolutely. on how to make those connections because connections and relationships is how everything works. Everything moves. It's energy. Yeah. It's just good energy yeah. and synergy yeah. together. Yeah. And, okay. and another new thing that I've adopted over the last couple of years is really loving people unconditionally. So I, in the past, uh, loved people with conditions. Mm. And now I have realized that anything that happens or anything that I'm disappointed about, if I just stop for a second and realize whatever I'm disappointed in, doesn't, I don't have to be disappointed. I can choose to not be disappointed. And I can choose that there's a better option that's right in front of me that I wasn't willing to see before. And that if I love them and have no expectation, I receive so much more because it allows them to be free and to love me back, whether they're a client or friend, you know. And allows you to see through them, yeah. right? It allows you, uh, people see through you when you're, uh, when, when, when I look at you and I'm not judging you and I'm okay with that, then I'm seeing you instead of seeing the other things that I wanted to focus on. Right. And that's right. what I want for my clients is I, I love my clients. I mean, I'm, I'm very particular about the people that I'll work with and I want the world to know them and know who they are here. Mm -hmm. This is what's important to me. Um, and we want to align them with the right people. And nice. so that's why I did. Oh, and just as a little tidbit, uh, the whole sexuality tutor uh, is coming back around. I've been asked to um, bring it back onto radio and oh. clients have been clamoring to come back. So we're actually going how to be doing that again. How many years ago you did that? Um, it's, I've been a uh, relationship it's consultant for 30 years. 30 years. So yeah, I know people are more doing open. It. Yeah. They're, they're much open now than before. They want to learn more about education, I think, than before, right? I, I people always wanted to learn from me. Mm -hmm. They just didn't want anybody else to know they learned anything from me. Okay. Where now they're more open to say, I've talked to Andrea, or you can talk that. to Andrea. Okay. They're not afraid to talk about it and, and to say that they worked well, with I'm me. Well, I'm not going to be afraid to ask you more about it when oh. we come back. How's Absolutely. That sound? Okay, we are going to share more insight about what Andrea is, uh, her knowledge with us, she's going to share with us, right? Or yep. we'll be right back. <laughs> Snap on dentures will change your life. And at Smiles Today Dental, we now offer the lowest price in town. Many dental implants can stabilize your loose dentures permanently. Call Smiles Today Dental for a free consultation. back with Andrea and we're talking about subject a little bit uh, sometimes it's taboo but 
we're talking about it educational. It's right. sexual. You, yeah. I mean, let's recap a little bit. You've been a police uh, uh, law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Worked in law enforcement. Uh, yeah, and then, and then in service. To, yeah, and then you're publicist and you're all yeah. of that stuff. So I did the relationship business where I consulted mm -hmm. with people and then I started getting myself on radio and television and then other people asked me to help them. So I've been really focusing my last uh, 10 years more on that business, although still doing the relationship business, just not as active as I used to. And people have been coming back to me begging for me to come and do that. They like the way that I bring my spirit and energy that I bring to that business. And so I'm coming back around. But another part of my business that we haven't even talked about is money because it's really funny. Money comes up all the time with relationships mm -hmm. and with publicity. So people are looking on how to get funded. So I do with all these relationships because it's all based on relationships. It's figuring out how do people joint venture together and how do they get sponsorships and how do they get funding. So that's a whole nother piece that I have added to this business over the last five years and do corporate sponsorships for people as well as um, JV manage for them, joint venture manage. Uh, let me ask you, what else you don't do? You're a mother too, you're a wife. and I have three children and a two-year-old two granddaughter. Yeah. It chokes oh, me up to even mention oh, her name. Oh, <laughs> her name's Mavis. Oh my God, so she's beautiful. the cutest thing ever. And um, she just brings joy to the whole family. I mean, talk oh. about a keep smiling mm. movement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's those that kids. That really are makes you smile. Yeah. And, and my I have three daughters. They're all fantastic. And mm. uh, 27, 20, and 19. And obviously, I tear up. I've, I've been on the road. I've been on. <laughs> I've been know. on the road yeah. for like thirty days, so oh, it's been a little rough. You miss them, yeah. Yeah, but I'll be home next week, and it'll be great. But you know, that's that is. So you know, you said, how do I do it yeah. all during break? Um, you do it all by uh, people. You know, I've heard people say all the time, you can have it all, but not at the same time. That's not true. I have lived and I've manifested my own life. I have it all and all at the same time. And you can do this. I mean, and that's what I want my clients to see, that that they can have funding, that they can get paid, that they can write, a, we help them with their, publish their books and everything. We've really become a one-stop solution center. We implement things to help them make get things done. They go to wonderful coaches and other wonderful mentors, and then they come to me and then say, how can I get this done? Yeah, because the coaches basically uh, tell them what they need to do Right. But you actually take them we, we and help them, and them do what it. they need to do. Yeah, or we just do it for them because okay. a lot of times, I mean, like for you, for example, this is what you need to be doing. You don't need to be going out and writing letters doing and making it. phone calls yes. or asking people for money. Someone else does that so That's that right. you can focus on this because yes. this is your heart. Yes. And, and, and the other things is I love to do because I love to reach out and talk to people. So I have no qualms on calling them and talking to them because, you know, that's they want to get in front of your audience as far as the money and and they want you to be in front of theirs so it's, it's just it's all you it's, know how to do it and you, that's you you've been doing that yeah, so you know how to it's put full it circle relationships yeah i got a really nice compliment from joe sugarman he's a, a copywriter he wrote the book triggers and multiple other ones he told me that one of the reasons that he sees me as being really really successful is i've taken all the things that i've done i also taught college in seven different departments he said you take all this information and you put it together and then you think about how, what does your client know and what can you learn about them you take all of that and you put it together and think how can i cross promote them why does andrea's stuff show up where other people's don't and and that's part of the reasons is because i'm always looking for a different opportunity to be able to have my clients put in the limelight because they deserve it you know some people they say you can't do it all but I, I, I'm going to argue about that. You're doing it all. Uh, you can Basically, do it all. Basically, yeah. You can do it I mean, all. I mean, so the traveling can of... be a little much where I'm a gone from home yeah, just sure, a tiny sure. bit. But I, I was home on Sunday, and I'll be gone this week, and then I'll be home again for a week or two. And, and I can choose. I could have chosen to stay home longer, but mm -hmm. I, I chose to come to this event. But you can have it all. You can manifest manifest your life the way you well, want. I know it to it's be. a big event going on in town. Yes, it's um, a really big event. So, Top speakers in the country. So I'm I'm part of that yeah. with a bug free mind. Yeah. Um, I've, I've been attendee for several years and a sponsor. I and believe I, you will change the world. Uh, Peter Anthony's going to be there. Probably yeah, he'll be there second. as well. He's also a member of that yeah. and is a sponsor. And um, you know, and, and with uh, 120 of these fabulous peers. One one of our peers I had heard was supposed to break a billion dollars in product last year. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's just fantastic, amazing people that are doing wonderful things in the world and making things happen. And those are the people that I align myself with. Um, while we were waiting to come onto this show, um, a 
Ken Rashan, mm -hmm. my client, invited someone to come. That gentleman ended up being a wealth of knowledge. He's known as Mr. Blueprint, so we'll have to have him on your show sure. later. I'll, I'll, yeah. uh, he'll be fabulous for you. He has more Twitter followers than um, 14 Super Bowl viewings wow. put together. You know, so amazing people like that. He was sitting there and he was talking to me. Oh, Andrea, I can put you in touch with this person, this person, this person. And we're trading Rolodexes on who we can connect with and who we've hung out with before. And, amazing. You know, and, and, and it's amazing stuff. But, you know, not everybody could do what you're doing. I mean, you you have something special. I could see it already. And you're, you have a special light about you and a special gift. I'm sure your kids and your grandkids are going to be so proud of you because what, what's happening here is you're helping other people live their purpose. Yeah. And you're taking that pressure away from them. Yeah. And that's beautiful. Thank and you. Really beautiful. I, I mean, I help it. people to maybe shine in the world and oh, get their message out. Girl, you're but too, you're, too humble. But you, you are. You are lighting people up. Yeah, look oh, at your you. story and your back life. You, you are amazing. You're, you're a heroine in your own right. And, and, and I'm very honored to be your friend and to work oh, with you because you, you are so fan, <laughs> fantastic. I mean, your audience knows your story. And if they haven't yet, I mean, go listen and read it about it. You know, go get her book. It's fabulous. You, you know, your story and the knowing about your brother and what happened to him and war. I mean, your resilience to overcome. Those are the reasons that I get excited about working with other people because I want people to know that stuff. I want them to know that they can be happy and peaceful and, and loving and, and do all these amazing things. There is things hope in the world. for everybody. Oh, right? you can do there is anything. hope for everybody. You can do no anything. No doubt about it, especially if they get to just surround themselves around you and just. Uh, I follow you sometimes, I see you everywhere. I'm like, <laughs> how she does it all? How she does it? But it's amazing. Well, that, that gift that you have, it's well, amazing. Well, thank you. And I'd love and to share so that. And it's so blessing. It's really blessing and a pleasure to get to know a soul like yourself. Because I really admire you from what you're doing. I mean, going away from your children and your grandkids, sometimes I have grandkids and I don't see them as much anymore. I know what it means, but we know that we want to help other people. So right. we know we could see our grandkids, but we put ourselves uh, to help the world to be a better place. And I appreciate you so much. Well, I Someone certainly needs appreciate to you. really appreciate what you're doing to the well, world. Well, I'm sure really. that they do. And I, I do receive gratitude and love and thanks every day. And that's part of the reason that I do what I do is because I know that I'm appreciated by the people that I love. And that's a good feeling. Yes. Well, <laughs> very nice to have you. Thank you. I'm sure we'll, we'll that, that see you more. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amy. Of course, of course. Thank you for being here, taking the time and being here. I know you're so busy today, but you made sure to come on oh, the yeah, show. Oh, yeah, we I had. Uh, we, we, we were up all night um, at an event and at events all day today, uh, doing shooting and pictures and everything. It's and you didn't doodle. turn me down. You're like, no, I'm coming no, to your show. No, we're going to make it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually late for a movie yes. premiere right now, but okay. we'll get there and it'll all, it all work out. I'll be so, on the red carpet. I appreciate you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. And for all of you, I appreciate your watching. Until I see you next time, please stay focused on your purpose. <laughs>